Let's start with the letter A. A is a vowel. A makes the sound A. The picture that helps us remember what sound A makes is an apple. Every morning when we do our letter drill, we say A, apple, A. A is a plain line round letter. It starts on the plain line. So when you point to your plain line, this helps you remember where A starts. We're going to start on the plain line and go around down to the grass line. Go back up to the plain line, trace back down to the grass line. That is how we make our A. The next letter in the alphabet is B. B is a consonant. B makes the sound B. For our letter drill, we say B, bat, B. B is a skyline letter. It starts on the skyline and it helps us always point to the line before we begin to write. So point to the skyline, start on the skyline, go down to the grass line, trace back up to the plain line, and go around to the grass line. And there is your letter B. Next is the letter C. C is a consonant. C makes the sound k. What helps us remember is always looking at the picture cat. During our letter drill, we say C, cat, k. C is a plain line, round letter. It starts on the plain line, so we're going to point on the plain line. And C actually starts to fly backwards instead of this way. It goes this way when we begin to write. So we're going to start on the plain line, go backwards a little bit, curve down to the grass line, and stop. D is also a consonant. D makes the sound D. For our letter drill, we say D, dog, D. D is a plain line, round letter. So it starts on the plain line, we're going to go around to the grass line, all the way up to the skyline, and trace back down to the grass line. I'll do one more. Start on the plain line, go around to the grass line, up to the skyline, trace back down to the grass line. E is a vowel. E makes the sound E. Eh. For our drill, we say E. Ed, eh. E is a plain line round letter, but remember E is very special because it doesn't actually start on the plain line, it starts just below it. So it starts between the plain line and the grass line. So we are going to fly under the plain line and we're going to go up to the plain line and around to the grass line. Make sure this always touches. I don't want to see an E like that. So we're going to practice flying up and around to the grass line. F is a consonant and makes the sound F. F fun. F, F is a skyline letter and it starts on the skyline. So we're going to point to the skyline, go down from the skyline all the way down to the grass line. Then we are going to fly over the plane line and across your first initial line. We'll do that one more time. We start on the plane line, all the way down to the grass line, and cross over on the plane line. G is a consonant. It makes the sound G. G, game, G. G is a plain line round letter and it starts on the plain line. We're going to start on the plain line, go down all the way around on the grass line, trace back up to the plain line, down all the way to the worm line. H is a consonant. H makes the sound 
H hat. <sighs> H is a skyline letter, so we're going to point to the skyline. We're going to start on the skyline and go all the way down to the grass line. We're going to trace back up just to the plain line and make a hump. I is a vowel. I makes the sound I. I, itch, I. I is a plain line letter. We're going to point to the plain line because that's where it starts. Start on the plain line and go down to the grass line. Then add your dot. J is a consonant. It makes the sound j. J, jug, j. J is a plain line letter, so it starts on the plain line. We're going to start on the plain line and go all the way down to the worm line and make a curve. Just like your I, you're going to add a dot. K is a consonant. K makes the sound k. K, kite, K is a skyline letter, so we're going to start on the skyline and go all the way down to the grass line. We're going to point to the plain line. Start on the plain line for the next part, but we're going to leave a little bit of a space. So we'll start right here, and we're going to slide over and touch our first tall line that we made. Then slide back down to the grass line to finish your lowercase k. L is a consonant and makes the sound L. L, lamp, L. L is a skyline letter and it is very simple. It is just one line straight down from the skyline to the grass line. M is a consonant. It makes the sound M. Mm. M, man, M. Mm. M is a plain line letter. We're going to start on the plain line and go down to the grass line. Trace back up to the plain line and make a hump. We're going to trace right back up to the plain line again and make another hump. N is also a consonant. It makes the sound N. N, nut, N. N is a plain line letter. We're going to start on the plain line, go down to the grass line, trace back up, and make a hump. O is a vowel. It makes the sound ah. Uh. O, octopus, ah. Uh. O is a plain line round letter. So we're going to start on the plain line, go down and around to the grass line and around back to the plain line where we started. P is a consonant and makes the sound p. P, pan, P is a plain line round letter. So we're going to start on the plain line, go all the way down to the worm line, trace back up, and make a curve all the way around on the grass line. The letter Q is a consonant. Remember, Q and U are always next to each other when we see them in a word. So Q, U, Queen, Qua. Q, U makes the sound Q is a plain line round letter, and just like the letter C and the letter G, we're going to start flying backwards on the plain line and go around down to the grass line. We're going to trace back up to the plain line and all the way down to the worm line. But the Q on the bottom always rounds up because it wants to point to its buddy, the U. R is a consonant and makes the sound er. R, rat, er. It is a plain line letter, so let's start on the plain line. And we're just going to go right down to the grass line, trace back up, and a little curve on the plain line. S is a consonant and makes the sound s. S, snake, s. S is a plain line round letter. We're starting on the plain line and going around twice like that to the grass line. T is a consonant and makes the sound t. t. 
top t. T is a skyline letter, so we're going to start on the skyline and go all the way straight down to the grass line. Then we are going to cross over the plain line to complete our T. U is a vowel. It makes the sound uh. U, up, uh. U is a plain line letter. We're going to start on the plain line, go down to the grass line and curve back up to the plain line, then trace straight back down to the grass line to finish. V is a consonant and makes the sound v. V, van, v. V is a plain line slide letter. So we're going to start on the plain line and slide down to the grass line, then slide back up to the plain line. W is a consonant and makes the sound w. W, wind, w. W is a plain line slide letter, just like the letter V. So the W is actually very similar to making two Vs together. We're going to start on the plain line, go down and slide down to the grass line, slide back up to the plain line, slide back down to the grass line, slide back up to the plain line. X is a consonant. It makes the sound x. X, fox, x. X is a plain line slide letter, just like V and W. We're going to start on the plain line and slide down to the grass line. Then we're going to leave a space when we go back up to the plain line because we're going to slide that way down to the grass line. Y is sometimes a vowel and sometimes a consonant. Y makes the sound y. Y, yellow, y. Y is also a plain line slide letter. We're going to start on the plain line and slide down to the grass line. Then we're going to pick up our marker and leave a bit of a space when we go back to the plain line. We're going to slide all the way down to the worm line. Z is a consonant. It makes the sound z. Z, zebra, z. Z is another plain line slide letter, but it doesn't slide right away. It flies a little bit on the plain line, then slides down to the grass line, and then go over to finish on the grass line.